Hello, Douglas County. Welcome to our ninth DCTV 23 weekly update on COVID-19. Thank you for joining us. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations. And I'm Communications and Media Specialist, Lena Hardy. Thank you for joining us. Per guidelines from the Health Department, we continue to encourage citizens to wear a face covering while being in public, wash hands repeatedly throughout the day, and practice social distancing to fight the spread of COVID-19. Rick, could you provide an update on cases in Douglas County? Yes, absolutely. According to Georgia's latest report, as of June 4th, Douglas County has 556 confirmed cases, and the number stands at 25, 25 people who have passed away due to the virus. On behalf of the chairman, Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones, and the Board of Commissioners, we would like to send our sincere condolences to those individuals and their families the state of Georgia created a COVID-19 hotline with the sole purpose to answer your questions and address your concerns related to the virus. If you have questions and wish to speak with someone, call COVID-19 hotline at 844-422-2681. Lena, as of June 3rd, Cobb and Douglas Public Health has tested over 2,300 people at their testing site at Hunter Park. Now, anyone can be tested regardless if they have symptoms or not. You're encouraged to visit cdphcovid19testing.org. That's cdphcovid19testing.org to complete an online testing referral and to make an appointment. The hours of operation for the Hunter Park testing site are Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Saturday, 9 a.m. to noon. Please note, testing is by appointment only. Individuals who arrive without a pre-approved number from Cobb and Douglas Public Health will not be tested. Also, Rick, Cobb and Douglas Public Health would like to remind everyone that they are now doing contact tracing. Therefore, if someone is contacted by Cobb and Douglas Public Health as a contact to a case, they should go to Hunter Park to be tested. There's a chance if they go somewhere else, it may not be free. Yesterday on June 3rd, the Solicitor General's office announced plans to reduce traffic violation fines due to the backlog of cases from COVID-19 and to minimize the spread of the virus to court personnel and citizens. Solicitor General Sonia Compton's office, along with the State Court of Douglas County, will be reducing traffic fines to $150 for low maintenance and or moving violations if your case is eligible. Go to Solicitor General's webpage on CelebrateDouglasCounty.com where you can see more information. Tomorrow, Friday, June 5th, is the last day of advanced voting. You can vote from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the Douglas County Courthouse, Boundary Waters Aquatic Center, Deer Lake Park, Old Courthouse, and Dog River Library. If you are unable to vote early, you have one more opportunity to vote for the 2020 primary election on Tuesday, June 9th. For more information, contact the Elections and Voter Registrations Department at 770-920-7213. Rick, what's happening tonight? I hear you're hosting an important update. Is that true? <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, Lena, I am. Tonight, you're invited to please join Douglas County Chairman Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones for the Douglas County COVID-19 update at 6.30 via Douglas County Happenings Facebook page and DCTV23's Facebook page. This event will include some special guests, including U.S. Congressman David Scott, Villa Rickers Mayor Gil McDougall, the City of Douglasville's Mayor, Mrs. Rochelle Robinson, Douglas County's Economic Development Authority Executive Director Chris Pumphrey, and Douglas County Chamber President Sarah Ray. Look forward to seeing you there. District 3 Commissioner Terenia Carthen is hosting a quarantine to discuss a variety of topics on June 15th at 6.30 p.m. on her Commissioner Carthen's Facebook page. If you have questions, please send them by June 12th at 5 p.m. to Christy Walker at kwalker at co.douglas.ga.us. Questions must be emailed by the deadline in order to be answered. Douglas County citizens, please remain informed and follow our daily updates on CelebrateDouglasCounty.com, Douglas County Happenings Facebook page, and our DCTV23 Facebook page. Thank you for watching. See you next week.